This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. It is 6 a.m. on this Wednesday morning, and we're taking a live look at downtown St. Louis. As Give SDL Day is now underway, everybody, the massive fundraiser event kicks off at midnight, and so far, hundreds of thousands of dollars have been donated to some of your favorite nonprofits out there. And just seconds ago, we've entered the power hour. That means if you donate, that charity could earn an extra prize money from a pool of $20,000. Remember, all of the donations are tax deductible. Simply text the word GIVE to 314-425-5355 or go to kck.com slash GIVE to learn more about all of this. Coming up, we're going to introduce you to some of the amazing organizations who need your help this morning. But right now, I just want to say good morning to you. Thanks for joining us for Today in St. Louis. I'm Renee Knott. And I'm Michelle Lee. Of course, we just want to say thanks for joining us, including those of you who might be watching mm -hmm. us on 5 Plus. It is our power hour, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we got is. one hour with you this morning. And Paul's, of course, very busy keeping an eye on the road. Absolutely. And Anthony's keeping yeah. uh, busy as well. I yeah, have a question for you. Yes. How come patterns on this side of the desk oh. just, you know, everybody oh, over there just yeah. solid? Solid. Mm -hmm. I just said it's noticed that. You would, Mr. Fashion. Interesting. Yes, yes, yes. We well, talk. <laughs> you guys go and handle that because I, I got to do some weather, you know? Uh, by the way, before we got into that, I was going to tell you there are some showers that are starting to pop up uh, this morning. We've been keeping an eye on most of it south of St. Louis for the last couple of hours. But now, in the last 15 minutes, we've had some pop up in the metro area. So first, we'll start you off with the showers that have been falling apart across Red Bud down towards Chester, Illinois. That is moving away from us. But then you've got this next little activity that you can see from 79 and Winfield all the way down into O'Fallon, Missouri, even into Wildwood. You've got these little spotty showers. So you may get a little brief downpour here this morning, but that should clear away. I think after 8 o'clock, we should be dry. Temperatures today will be up near 80 degrees, and the humidity stays low as well. Some good news there. All right, let's head over to Paul. He's been tracking some uh, rain this morning, but also you had a rollover. Kind of busy on the roads this morning. Paul, what's going on? Yeah, we have a few things you need to know about. One we've been talking about for just a little bit. This is uh, 55 northbound, 44 as you'd be entering the Poplar Street Bridge. That ramp is closed because an 18-wheeler rolled over. You can kind of see it on its side there, and there was some fuel that leaked out, so that's why they have closed the ramp. You can see it downtown here. I want to pull back out like uh, you were talking about the rain 70 at 79 is now wet if you're coming from uh, St. Charles St. Peter so be careful more traffic very soon. Thanks so much, Paul. New overnight, a home in St. Clair County is heavily damaged in a fire. Crews were called to the home on Forest Boulevard in Washington Park. Take a look there. This was all around uh, 2 o'clock this morning. Firefighters say no one was home at the time, although neighbors tell our crew that people moved out just days ago. No word, though, on what started that fire. Right now, we continue our coverage on outgoing St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner as a countdown to her resignation continues. After she announced her decision last week, many in our city want to know what's next. Yep, and our Sydney Stallworth is live outside Gardner's office this morning with all of those latest developments. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning, Michelle and Rennie. You know, St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner has less than a month left before her resignation, but she's still facing a legal battle as Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey is not letting up on his push to oust her from office immediately. New this morning, we are learning that Gardner will be back in the courtroom very soon. Now, the new judge that's been assigned to this case has announced a hearing on May 16th. Earlier last week, the AG filed more evidence stating that Garner is taking nursing classes at SLU and Garner's attorneys have now asked the judge to remove the subpoena for her SLU records. Missouri Governor Mike Parson wasting no time searching for Garner's replacement. Whoever he chooses will serve out the rest of her term ending November 2024. Parson's spokesperson confirms he met with Mayor Tashara Jones on Monday and on Tuesday the governor met with several leaders like prosecuting attorneys, commissioners and St. Louis Sheriff Vernon Betts. Parson's spokesperson tells Five on Your Side the governor 
governor, quote, discussed crime and finding a candidate who values law and order, who can help restore faith in the city's criminal justice system, and who represents the community. Now, according to Sheriff Betts, Parson is planning to make a decision on a replacement quote in a few weeks. That's now with so many happen. prosecutings having left the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office, there are questions swirling around the cases they were working on. Now some of those cases assigned to the prosecutors who left the office were actually in trial just yesterday. I'll tell you what the judge said about what all of this means for the accused and the victims in these cases. That's coming up in the next half hour. But for now, reporting live downtown, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Thanks so much, Sydney. There is some frustration this morning for some car owners. Technology aimed at preventing Hyundai and Kia thefts really has not solved the problem. Our Alex Fees is live for us this morning in North St. Louis County with some of those findings. Alex? Renny Michelle, good morning. Uh, the Associated Press gathered data from seven American cities, including St. Louis, which shows that the theft of Kias and Hyundais continues to grow, despite those companies' efforts to fix that security flaw. Now, a software update being rolled out was designed to thwart vehicle thefts caused by this flaw, which was exposed on social media. St. Louis is among cities that have sued the automakers, accusing them of failing to install industry standard anti-theft devices and placing an undue burden on city services. The company's affected cars were not equipped with a theft immobilizer. The device contains a computer chip in the key that must be recognized by another chip in the steering column before the engine will start. Both Hyundai and Kia say they're accelerating the distribution of that software, but safety authorities say the company's software rollout has been far too slow. Of the 4.5 million Kia vehicles eligible for the fix, Kia officials say they've installed the software on nearly 5%. For 3.8 million Hyundais affected, the automaker has installed the fix on roughly 6%. The company's affected cars, many of them lower cost models from 2011 to 2022, were not equipped with the theft immobilizer. Now, coming up at 6.30, I'll tell you what he, uh, Kia and Hyundai company officials have to say about how much time will pass before all affected car owners are notified. Live this morning in North St. Louis County, Alex Fees, five on your side. Thanks so much, Alex. In the meantime, right now, one of St. Louis's largest fundraising efforts is underway. A few hours ago marked the start of Give STL Day, and as you can see, Wow, in the first six hours, we as a community have raised more than $501,000. Give yourself Keep a round going. of applause. Yeah, right now we are in the first power hour of the day where the charities you care about can earn extra prize money from a pool of $20,000. <laughs> oh my gosh, that does so much good work. Well, more than 1,000 local nonprofits from St. Louis and the Metro East areas are participating. Mm -hmm. And this morning, we're catching up with two of the groups, hoping that you will give the, to the goodwill that's going on to help their program stay afloat. We're trying to branch out, you know, offer opportunities for more kids, just, you know, not just in the Peabody's, but other neighborhoods. Groups can get native plant material to improve public spaces in their own neighborhood so they can turn a vacant lot into a community green space. You have all day to donate and help so many great nonprofits out there. Remember, if you donate during this power hour, which ends at seven o'clock this morning, your favorite organization has a chance to win $20,000. All donations, by the way, are tax deductible. Now to donate, simply text GIVE to 314-425-5355 or go to kzk.com slash give to learn more about this. All right, guys, let's get you updated on our weather first forecast. This morning, we're keeping an eye on some showers that are starting to pop up. Our future cast doesn't really show those very well, but what I want to show you is the future here over the next few days. Today will be dry. Aside from these little showers that are popping up this morning, those should clear away here within the next couple of hours. But tomorrow, look at this rain. We're talking widespread rain for Thursday on and off pockets of heavy rain and the humidity starts to climb as we go into the end of the week. So today the muggy meter shows we're comfortable tomorrow, humid and then very muggy as we head towards Friday. We'll track thunderstorm chances as well for the weekend as you make plans for Mother's Day. That's coming up. Well, coming up, complete findings released on radioactive materials at the Westlake landfill, a timeline of the lengthy cleanup efforts in North St. Louis County. Working out in the wild, 
how St. Louis County Parks are motivating you to exercise outside this morning. Yeah, she's just a really all around good dog. Well, this playful pup is becoming a viral sensation. The incredible rescue story that's going to melt your heart this morning. And as we go to break at 610 this morning, hello sunshine. Here it comes, folks. A live look at Forest Park flying high over the boathouse. So peaceful, so quiet. Hopefully today won't be so bad you can't go out there and enjoy the boathouse and maybe take a paddle boat ride. We're right back in just a moment.